so guys i have received this data this is some superstore sales data and i want to play with this data so the no id is giving order priority as we given customer id customer name shipping mode customer segments and everything so first of all let's insert filter control shift l i inserted a filter now going to right side i can see the product name is here let's reduce a little size then we have product category support for category product name so our report whenever there is a report or presentation is always based on product means different segment you can see segment is also here corporate home office small business different corporate we have total 1952 lines okay which is good so we have inserted filter let's insert one uh, freeze let's freeze the panel so i want to freeze after Okay, let's not freeze the panel. I will just group something. I just I don't want right now. Right now, don't want anything. I want to see product category. So, all shift right arrow. My product category is here. Okay, and these are all the extra thing. Let's for timing forget this one. There are city multiple things. Product subcategory, contains name, product base, which country in which region state provenance the multiple things post office or the shipping date okay so here date is not correct so let's fix the uh, date format is control shift three it will change you the date format so till unit price i don't need anything right now i just want to see how much profit the organization making so i again did control shift right arrow sorry all shift right arrow and the semi group now i will just minimize it so now yeah, i have product category and the unit price shipping cost order sales sales okay so there are two sales and discount is also here and i don't know what these are i will tell you this all this is order number <coughs> so now let's play with the data First of all, this sales figure looks good. I don't know what this sales figure. I will delete this one. The discount is mentioned here. Profit is mentioned here. I don't know if this calculation is correct or not. Okay, so this is our basic data. So here, what can I see that my unit price, unit price means for one quantity. So I'm assuming these are all unit, unit price, unit shipping cost. Let's wrap the text. Alt H W so that the data can be more visible. Some okay, unit shipping cost, quantity ordered. Let's enlarge it here and fit this. Okay, sales. Let's assume this is unit sales price, but it does not look good. Let me let me tell you why. So here you can see that unit price is 500, unit shipping cost is 26, the total is 526 and you are saying that we are selling for 6000, it does not make sense. I think this is the total sales price of 12 quantity. I am assuming right now, we have discount, again discount should be in percent. So let's do control shift 5 is for percentage. So alt H9, alt H0. To increase the percentage uh, 0, I have added Alt H0, Alt H9. So there is nothing in send. Uh, I meaning sub percent. It's either 1% discount, 2% discount, 10, 20, whatever. The different discount percentage. Now we have profit. So let's see how what is the maximum per discount which we are giving. So currently Alt down arrow. It's largest, smallest. So maximum discount we are giving is 21%, which is in furniture. Then in technology, maximum discount is 10%. Office supplies are all 10% discount. So discount is varying, means every department has different discount. It can be based on other things also, like state. Okay, I have not freeze the header. Let me freeze the header. Now I can freeze the header. I know that after product name, and uh, I need to freeze because I need the header to sit down. So after product category, 
and below product subcategory I'll freeze all WF freeze panel so I have freeze this panel okay so they get multiples small pack large pack based on package jumbo the different criteria based on which they can uh, they can set the discount one thing I also saw found right now this is product base margin let's move it on the product base margin is how much a uh, profit they want to earn on the cost okay so let's move it control space selected control x cut I'll move it after cost before sale okay control C plus so this is product base margin which they want like 39% 58% 68% 7% 70% so this is the profit margin they are looking into so looking to this we can assume that company making big profit but this is direct cost there can be other cost losses in direct cost these are only manufacturing cost and shipping cost the other cost can be there like uh, salesman warehouse storing those costs are not considered here so you, right now you can see it's 39 58 68 percentage but after implementing all those costs salesman's labor ship, uh, shipping already here uh, repair maintenance whatever building rent electricity so this profit will automatically reduced to 10 percent 5 percent which makes sense in the market because no organization can make more than 5 percent 10 percent margin and also there are some discount here so let's change this product based margin into percentage control shift 5 it then turned into percentage so now what total cost are we assuming for the product so let's minimize this so now we have per furniture i did a grouping okay there is some grouping i don't want this grouping so all shift left arrow i i removed the grouping so for unit price we are saying that the, uh, this furniture less cost me 14.98 dollar there is some cat sub category also let me open software and we will understand which sub category we are talking about <coughs> office furnitures and product name is here so i will just uh, unbreak this one product name so i will do control shift left arrow this grouping is unbroke now we have product category product name so this product name let's we group this one double click here on the top now i can see in furniture this foot whatever this floor stand is 14.98 it cost to make this is tensor computer Mounted cost 40 by 89 dollar technology is there different keyboard both have same keyboard same cost maybe there's some other department or uh, city for which they are considering so and the quantity for that city is different that's why it is here percentage is same okay <clears throat> so what are they saying that they want the cost plus 39 percent should be the base margin which is this much they should charge for sale price minimum price okay and this is sales price maximum retail price you know mrp maximum retail price maximum retail price is the price which will be mentioned in the product but it's not the amount at which they can charge they can the shopkeeper has his own <coughs> discretion to lower the price for you and this price will be the minimum cost minimum recovery which we call contribution contribution after contribution there are other cost which may reduce those cost that it become profit so this is the contribution which we need right now okay so let's say uh, base price so this is base price because this is total cost plus margin will be base price our or OCA to fit this screen because the name was not visible so I'm doing fit to screen. <coughs> so to calculate base price. So is equal to sum. You can do sum, tab, this and this. Bracket close. Now it is taking sum. It is taking percentage. Let's convert in number first. Control shift 1. So it is 23.97. Now what I want, I want to add 39%. In, uh, we can do plus again 
bracket sum into 39. So what will I do? It will take the sum of 14 plus 8 into 39 percent is this one 39 percent plus 1. Okay. If you want, I can break it more for you for simplicity. Let's go a little right. Okay. So our base cost is uh, base cost is equal to sum tab. Sorry. Sum tab. This two bracket close. Control C for number. Control C. Well, let's convert a number first. Now uh, our percentage will be this into 39% is our uh, base margin. And this is initial cost. A total cost of product. You can say whatever. So total is 33.32 which is here. So what I did, I did sum these two plus sum these two again into T3 percentage. This is sum this two, sum of unit and cost, then sum of unit and cost into percentage. Here I did sum of unit and cost plus sum of unit and cost into percentage. This is a way. Okay. I can do it one more way, which is my favorite. I will show you why. <coughs> is equal to sum bracket, sum of unit and uh, unit price and shipping cost into bracket 1 plus into so what i am doing i am doing simply this sum and multiplying it with 1.39 okay i am doing this sum plus multiplying with 1.39 so it is showing me the base price so there's two formula which i have shown one is this and one is this okay you can see this one formula now I'll come down, I will select, oh, there is much more data. I will come down, I will click on Control D. Now the form, uh, formula has been updated. So initial cost is this much, base margin initial cost into percentage, price is initial cost plus unit, uh, initial cost into, initial cost into base margin, base price, this one. So you can take anything right now. So now let's stick to the what. I like this base price formula which I like unit cost into 1 plus margin which looks good okay now so this is the base price which you are talking about now what they are saying they are saying they ordered 10 quantity and the sales price was 15.83 they gave the discount of 21% and they earned a profit of 17 so this price is after discount. This is not the sale price. Let me write it. This is sales price after discount. Now what? So what was the sales price? We have to do reverse calculation. Okay. That's the main thing. People face problem. So how can we reverse calculation? So we said we gave them discount of 21%, correct? Meaning this is 21, this is after 21%, which is 100 minus 21. So this is 79%. This is 100 minus 17, which is 81% of the price. So what will the 100% of price is equal to this divided by bracket 1 minus this i will show you how now let's do the future calculation again i will add one more column here and make it a drop okay so now if i after 194 if i minus 194 minus 194 into 21 percent it will give you the same price correct 150.83 so this is reverse calculation so, if the total price is let's say X and discount is 21%, then after discount, it will be, let's say total price is 100 and discount is 21%. Uh, control C, 21. Let's give it 21, simple. 
okay alt h 0 sorry alt h 0 alt h 9 alt h 9 so i am saying that if the total price is 100 and i am given discount of 21 percent then my balance amount which is remaining is 79 rupees correct 100 rupees discount 29 percent 79 rupees same as if the discount is 17 then the balance is 83 so what i did simply i divided 153 divided by 83 it's sorry into 100 so it is giving one it oh it's 21 let me repeat so what i just did so if my uh, let me refresh if my total uh, price is one i got a discount of 21 percent okay control control shift five percentage then my under control shift five control shift five so if my total price is 100 percent and i give discount of 21 percent then my net price is 75 nine percent okay so if 153 is by 79 percent my order total price if 153 79 percent the total price is is equal to 153 divided by 79 194 and same as 194 minus 21 percent is 153 so what i did i just took the 153 divided 1 minus percentage which i did is equal to i took 27 minus bracket 1 minus 17 if i remove 17 the balance is our price after discount okay now do control d control shift I will change the number, control shift 1. Now you can see this is multiple receiver. If I open this one, uh, alt h k 0, alt h 0, it's multiple decimal. So we have to restrict into two decimal, control z z. Now you understood this one, deleting this one. So if I copy this data and I paste it here, alt s b, you can see it has multiple decimal 194772 so we have to restrict it to two decimal so we will do the round formula because price cannot be more than uh cent or you can say paisa second paisa so you got to r o u n d round comma two so what i did i did initially round r o u n d i did tab bracket opens i will come to last and comma two i need two decimal i will close it like this now if i copy this data and paste somewhere as yes a special paste or dsv it will show only two decimals okay so this is my total cell uh -huh. discount so when the client give you data it's not so that the data is always perfect the data can mean any humble jumble whatever they want because they know how to do business not the accounting or not the calculation in this much deep okay so we take care of this one so now coming to i will delete this rough one which i have showed you so how much profit did we make so to calculate the profit this is sales price for total quantity not single quantity i'll make you demand again so my profit will be is equal to sales price after discount minus i'll do this sum my total cost is unit cost plus shipping cost okay base price and minimum price will charge bracket close into quantity we have 10 quantity so may, we have made a loss of 85 rupees 85 dollar whatever we are saying that so here we're making the loss in all the cases so our base price should have been 33 to make a minimum 39 percent profit but we're making a loss of 85 so how much loss are we making based on sales price this is main price this is discounted price 154 and profit is uh, sales price after discount minus uh, uh, sum of unit price and shipping cost into y into quantity so making loss any profit i'm making so i will click on down arrow i can see this 
I will go to in. Yeah, we made some profit in some of the case. So how much total profit are we making? Let's see. I will add two column shift space control C plus plus. Let's do this sum prop sum of profit is equal to sum. I will take from here till last. So now we are making huge loss. Uh, control shift one. I will change the number converted. So making a loss of three hundred eighty-three thousand dollars or three lakh eighty-three thousand rupees. Okay. So where did the mistake happen? The mistake happened in discount. We gave a huge discount. So sales price before discount. Is total 194. So for each quantity, sale price sale price for before this for each unit what they have fixed. They have fixed this divided by 10 is 119.4. Is again coming multiple uh, decimals. We'll restrict it to two decimals. R O U N D round and bracket in coming bracket for uh, sorry is equal to round tab bracket open come to in and comma two and want to see two decimals only let me click on now it is converting two decimals so what is happening here so <clears throat> i want to have base price of 19 but the sales price before discount this is called mrp because discount is at the uh, at the hand of seller so our MRP is less than our base price. What we are, what we are decided, which is does not does not look good. So let me go to right. We have loss of the. I'll remove this one column to make a simplicity. So. The maximum price we set was 19.48. Our base price is 33. So now I want to see what are the case where my base uh, MRP price is lower than base price. If my MRP price is lower than my base price, we should have this we should have recovered. Okay, then those are not good. So I will add one more column and I will do check. MRP based and base price, I will do the checking. What are the instances? So is equal to is my MRP less than base price? It's true. Means we have to change this MRP. This MRP is not accepted right now. Let's go to town. And say control D. So true means my MRP is less than base price which I have given, which is 1949, 1950, in case of 1949 case. And our false is only in three cases. Means only in three cases we have set the price good. Other in other case we have our price is not correct. Okay. So now So this is not correct. So what should be our, our MRP? Our MRP should be at least, at least, let's say the discount percentage, what is the highest discount percentage? Which I have shown you earlier. So which I have shown you, the highest discount is largest to smallest. <coughs> so highest discount 21%. So in any case, we should not make any loss. So first of all, the maximum discount should be given is 20%. That is the price above the base price, which we can compromise. We cannot compromise more compromise with base price. We can compromise with MRP. After compromising with MRP, my bid discount, my base price would come 33. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go to our product. So, 
if I were to see this one, so I can see that I have my unit price, my shipping cost, base margin, base margin includes, base margin decided such to include, uh, I told you already, er, earlier also, like <coughs> rent, electricity, maintenance, labor, extra, etc. This is the cost of buying and shipping. But it does not and but it does does not include the storage cost, labor cost, everything. We are directly doing retail, buying and selling. We are not manufacturing anything here. So my base price should be this much. Now let's move this quantity uh, for the control X. I'll move it after yeah before A B. I'll select A B control space. And control C plus. This is my quantity order. Now coming here. So, so this is a base price. So now, now I, let me delete this check. I will delete this check. I'm delete control and check deletings. So what should be MRP? MRP. MRP per unit. MRP is always before discount. Let me write it. Okay. So what should my MRP? So what I assume that my MRP should be at least 20% above the base price. So that there can be margin of giving discount of 10%, 5%, 15%, depending on the customer. Correct? So I will do is equal to base price into 1.20. Now it is giving me, <coughs> it is giving me the uh, MRP. Again, it is coming in four decimal. I'll go on before is equal to, I'll put round. I'll come to last comma. I want only two decimal or else I don't want any decimal. 99.99, people put that, 99.99. Okay, let's keep it like that to attract. Control D. So now we have set one new margin. Okay. So you can see our MRP will be 20% into 1.2 I told uh, multiplied it of base price. Same thing I can calculate in another way. If I want, I don't want to uh, calculate this base price. We calculate base price here. And I don't want to do this one. I can do is equal to sum first of sum unit price and shipping cost bracket close into into I want to add margin bracket open one plus here the margin is changing I will do one plus thirty nine bracket close this is the margin thirty nine point eight two eight three I will do round and in comma two bracket close okay this we can do but control Z also I have to add 20% which I told you again I will come in front I will put one bracket add in I will put one bracket now it became total one figure in this I will do into 1.20 I am adding 1.20 into 1.20 I am adding 20% now it is 39.98 so I will do what ROU round I will do round and come to end and comma 2 I will see only 2 decimal Okay, again, ROU, I am getting some error, comma, come to last, comma, 2. So, there is some issue. I have to close this bracket. I have to add one more bracket in front. Oh, it's not taking. What I am doing is take some. Okay, here. R O okay I got it R O U N D round I have to add one bracket here at last comma two that's all okay I will come down and I will come up and I will do control D so this is here so here I don't want to see this one this base price I want to hide this two okay in big calculation we don't want to make multiple column and complicated things okay so now what we have we are saying that unit price plus shipping cost, okay, into margin, into, 
into uh, base margin into profit margin 20%. So this is my minimum MRP which should be. So now any all the cases my MRP is always higher than the base price. Okay. So <coughs> So now coming forward, so we have got the order of 10 quantity, 1 quantity, 5 quantity, okay. You got the order of 10 quantity, 5 quantity, 1 quantity. Initially, I will put somewhere 20%, I will show you why I am putting 20% somewhere. Okay, now coming here. So, I will delete this one, I will delete this one, okay. I will delete all this. So now I want to calculate the profit. Okay. So this is my MRP. And this is my total cost. Okay. So what is my profit? I will do is equal to MRP minus 20%. Okay, let's do one more column. Sales price. Sales price of 10 quantity is equal to our MRP 39% minus 20%. Control shift 1. It's not giving the exact amount. Correct? So what should it be? Is equal to 39. Mm, into sorry this is equal to there can two formula let me add both formula for you this is the formula which i am showing for simplicity and this formula i will use which i prefer to use is equal to 39 minus 39 into 20 percent so it is giving 31.9 units so what is happening here let's say 39.98 into 20 percent this is discount which i am giving eight rupees or eight dollar and from total value 39.9 if I'm rating this 8 rupees I'm getting 31 rupees for 98 cents <coughs> now what I prefer to do I don't want to select this uh, uh, price twice so what I do I will select price into bracket 1 minus 20 31.98 so what I'm doing that if my total cost is 1 to be 100 percentage and I am giving this out of 20 percentage my uh, ultimate is 80 percentage so what I am doing is that I am multiplying 39 with 80 percentage at 1.98 this is what I am doing I am subtracting 1 minus 20 that is 80 percentage 1 is 20 percent is equal to 80 percentage so I am doing that one so this is trick we should learn this all trick it will help you to reverse calculate and everything so you can do this one or this can do this one i'll come to down i will control d okay so at least i will hide ac i don't want to use ac i will hide it control uh, shift alt right arrow hiding it now i have sales price so what is my profit if i talk about my profit my profit is Is equal to 31 minus again this is price for one quantity only not for 10 quantity is equal to price minus some both the cost with cost plus profit is profit margin okay this is a profit for one quantity uh, one unit is 22 dollar or 22 rupees now I'll put one bracket in front and bracket at last uh, put one bracket at front and bracket at last and multiply with the quantity so my total profit is 226 dollar rupees for 10 quantity i'll come down i'll go on top and control d so my total profit is 3 million 3.73 million total profit i'll cut and paste it here i will apply subtotal is equal to subtotal Okay, subtotal 9, comma. I select from here till last. 
okay now we can see if i filled out furniture in furniture making profit of 1.3 million in office supplies i'm making profit of 1 million and in technology i'm making profit of 1.3 million but don't be fooled by seeing this because after this this is a base profit gross profit there are multiple cost differences and rent and all for which we have added the base margin okay so after that the cost will be more or less uh, profit will be more or less so let's say actual profit how it would how much it is so i'm saying actual profit after indirect cost which is our base price so we have added one base price here if you remember base margin base price right i will break this one out all shift left arrow now I'll calculate with the base price okay 32.32 <clears throat> so what is the profit is equal to my cost is 31 sales price minus my base price is 32 which we should have charged which i told you so i am having a loss of one dollar one rupees 30 cents this is a loss i am carrying because base price will include base uh, base margin will include other cost which i told it ain't anything all so how much actual loss we are incurring sales price after discount minus base price correct so if i come here and i click on i will put in on inside bracket and then multiply with quantity I will do control D so and I can control C control B the actual profit which company is making is only five hundred six dollar or five lakh rupees okay sometimes some product company has to suffer losses not in all product they can make profit but those losses are minimal because they keep the margins such they can provide discount now if I come to furniture for furniture how much they are making profit of furniture they are making a profit of 183 1,83 rupees thousand for office supplies they are making profit of 1,47,000 for technology they are making profit of 1,25,000 okay so this is how we do the calculation in real life and your data always should be 80 percent whenever you work in a, with any data don't keep it 100 percent always keep it at 80 percent or 70 percent if more than 70 percent so it looks good first thing second thing always freeze your data thought always apply filter always do the grouping so people can group ungroup and see the data easily we should have to analyze it so i hope i hope this will help now if you want you can make pivot also for pivot i have shown other videos let me show you on pivot if you are at hit this one point let's make pivot to alt nv okay so we have done a profit profit after after indirect cost let's write it gross profit it's called gross profit it's called net profit so people will ask me that this base price which i have taken here as cost so we have not taken the actual cost for each of department so it is not possible on daily basis to divide the rent in hundreds of products electricity maintenance on hundreds of products and how much the sale quantity is there because depending on sales quantity also the cost will be allocated correct so what happens there is they do a quarterly calculation every end of quarter they will find out how much quantities are sold what are the total cost of the uh, warehouse electricity rent okay how much labor are used then they divide those costs and they take an estimate and those estimated are called base margin okay because this calculus cannot be done on daily basis we cannot 
divide it into each product on daily basis we don't know what sales are going to happen this month so we always take the allocation based from the last month so now we will get a pivot now let's play with the pivot i will select all data and i'll press alt and v alt and v you can go from insert pivot now i'm going to new worksheet i will write it pivot analysis okay i will minimize a little more here okay pivot summary okay first i will see okay first i will see product category in row we have three products okay how much okay we didn't calculate a row but if total revenue made let's add one more column and see how much revenue made is sales price after discount net profit let's add one more column revenue revenue how much revenue we are generating is equal to sales price into quantity okay coming down control d now if i copy paste this one total revenue we have made the sale of 4 million and out from 4 million we have earned only 5,000 500,000 so what is the percentage of my profit is equal to my sale divided by total revenue which is 12 percentage control shift 5 you can see this my actual profit is 12 percent you can see this one from the even net profit 12 percent is average so in market 12 percent is very good 12 percent if uh, if any business is earning 12 percent profit it is <coughs> very good okay now coming to furniture i will refresh the table again i click refresh because i added one more column so that revenue will not come here now it will appear let me show you revenue i bring the revenue in the value so this is my total revenue then my net profit i bring my net profit here okay i close this window i'll convert into number control shift one okay now percentage profit percentage percentage is equal to net profit so when you go to pivot it will so like get pivot a3 a4 don't do like this when you're working a pivot always set it manually c4 divided by b4 then we'll come to control d it will catch actual data if you simply do is equal to net profit divided by a gross if you control d down it is it is showing the same data from the first cell only so never do it like that okay always uh, come is equal to c4 divided by b4 now it is showing you the exact data okay control shift 5 the percentage company making 12 percentage alt h 0 alt h 0 so company making 12 percent every product is making 12 percentage okay <coughs> So you can see this like this you again we open the pivot so pivot listing you can go and see by city also which city is making highest profit lowest profit discount rate anything you want i think this is good for today bye